Okay, uh, I've been watching uh, the uh, stuff going on up in New York tonight. Um, the uh, NYPD was finally allowed in by Columbia University, and the um, a um, uh, Hamilton Hall they made a uh, tactical entry using one of the uh, emergency services units um, ladder trucks, and this ladder truck it's a c-grade fire engine except it's painted blue and white and uh it's used by the uh nypd emergency services union uh for tactical entries they don't just have one of these things <laughs> they got three of them uh so they spread around the city and uh they made a tactical entry there uh they arrested estimates between 100 and 125 people well, that don't sound like a lot because there were thousands of people loitering around there protesting involved with this with this crap going on at Columbia University. Well, what happened there now before I get to that, uh, the um, Hamilton Hall and the library were extensively vandalized. And uh, they're talking about only getting these people for trespassing charges and stuff like that. Well, it turns out the five members of the staff at the college, uh, two security and three custodial members, were essentially held hostage since um, since the uh, since last night. Now that's uh, unlawful restraint. That's kidnapping. Uh, th these are felonies. Uh, you know, if all these people get out within 24 hours, it's ridiculous. But that's probably what's going to happen, given the uh, judicial uh, system in New York City and the uh, the bail laws. They're probably going to, you know, let them go. Uh, now getting back to uh, what with uh, that only about 150 people got arrested and there were thousands there. Uh, most of these people, most of these these t um, protesters, terrorists, whatever you want to call them withdrew as soon as NYPD got in involved and uh, they withdrew but they went uptown to the Community College of New York and uh, this is a this is a tactical action that dates back hundreds of years it's called a rear guard action they sacrificed 150 people so their main body could then uh, relocate and they relocated to the Community College of New York where there already was a large presence of these demonstrators. Uh, in fact, they had they were pretty elaborate. They had a stage with smoke and and lights and stuff like that, like a like a rock show uh, up there. Uh, a lot of the people thought there was a fire up there, but it was it was smoke, a smoke machine and and uh, lights and flares. The, uh, but yeah, they, they relocated and this is an action that, oh God, you go back to the revolutionary war where, um, troops at Fort Mifflin were sacrificed so that, uh, Washington could take his troops and withdraw to Valley Forge. Uh, it's known as the fort that saved America. Uh, that rear guard action saved the colonial army from destruction. Well, this is, this is a similar, this is a similar type of tactic that they're using. Uh, there were a lot of interfere, um, outside interference going on. There was this woman that was in her sixties that's been involved with counter demonstrations for decades, for demonstrations. And she's on video actually organizing uh, the barricading of the Hamilton building. And by doing so, that adds a, an additional charge for her because what she did was called criminal facilitation, uh, where she gave them direction on how to barricade the building properly. Uh, because these guys, these people couldn't, they couldn't find their genitals with both hands. They, they, these, are, these people are actually really stupid. And without this inside influence, that, that, that uh, they 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 would not have uh, done as 
as well as they had. They, uh, I mean, the media interviewed these clowns, and most of them had no idea what they were talking about about what the, what an intifada was, or or what was going on over in in uh, Israel and Gaza. Uh, completely freaking clueless. And then, of course, their cosplay. They, they, they dressed up like like Arabs and talked like Arabs, but they weren't Arabs. Uh, real, you know, if you have the courage to, to go by your conviction, you, you wouldn't be wearing a mask. Uh, is, but, uh, you know, my cat's running around. It's the zoomies, it's late at night. But, um, yeah, the... They had that woman, the elderly woman. They arrested a woman in her well into her forties that uh, apparently was a member of the faculty, um, and uh, members of the faculty were involved in this whole thing as well. And if you think we're gonna we're done with this, uh, we're not because NYPD has to station hundreds of officers at at. Uh, uh, Columbia University until after graduation on the 17th they're going to have to have a police presence on campus for that long until freaking cat uh, so he they're going to have to maintain a police presence on that campus uh, plus they're going to have to maintain police presence at CCNY, uh, NYU, all over the city, plus deal with the uh, the uh, illegal alien situation there. Those cops got to be on their ass tired. Uh, that, that's just the only way I can explain it. Now, um, on top of uh, other things that 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 are going on, they've already been caught on video preparing for incidents at our political conventions this summer. You're going to see these in mass uh, at political conventions this summer. You're going to see them turn up at Trump rallies. Uh, that was a tactic that was used in 2016 uh, where they organized a riot, not a protest, a freaking riot in Chicago during a, a Trump rally uh, and made it look like uh, it was like it was all Barry Sanders supporters because they actually had Barry Sanders shirts pr printed up and handed them out to uh, people participating in the in the riot. Now, um, uh, and there was there was riots the day Trump got inaugurized. So and then we dealt with a year of them in 2020 these are the same people putting on this uh, you know the same the same show uh with uh different rhetoric uh the same people are organizing the these uh these protests uh, and you got the teachers unions involved now because tomorrow the um los angeles teachers union is going to uh, have a May Day program district wide, so it's the second or third largest school district in America. They're going to have their kids out in uh, doing activities uh, while instead of in class. They're going to have them doing these activities instead of in class learning. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? They can't read anyway, so you know. They, they let them let them uh, get involved with the jihad like everybody else. Uh, some other things that turned up on uh, the uh, video I saw of uh, CCNY that nobody had realized about was the flags because there was Hamas flags. There was Hezbollah flags, and there was ISIS caliphate flags, all on display. And speaking of these flags, 
but leave it to New York. There was a street vendor outside of Columbia selling Hamas flags. He was he was selling Hamas flags on a stick. You know, the, 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 you know, I. It pisses me off to see this, but it just that just shows you how New York is. That anybody can make a buck off of anything. So this guy's selling Hamas flag, the street vendor. Now, uh, getting to uh, um, the other activity that happened in New York today is uh, Madison Square Garden, my 76ers, avoided being eliminated in the playoffs by playing the Knicks. Uh, now they're, they're going to game six. I don't anticipate the Sixers winning two games in a row. Uh, they're down three games to two. They should be game, winning three games. They should be up three games to two. Uh, it seems like they, uh, um, when uh, Joel Embiid uh, runs out of gas in the fourth quarter, they lose. And uh, he's been known for gassing it in the fourth quarter, but he uh, he put up some good numbers. He had a triple double. Uh, the one youngster, uh, I forget his name, uh, Maxi. Maxi. Oh. Guess that means I should shut up. <laughs> uh, Maxi put up forty-one points. So um, the Sixers avoided a elimination, and uh, like I said, I don't. I don't anticipate them winning two two in a row and advancing, uh, but it was nice that they uh, played well. And you know, I wonder how much police presence was at that game because the uh, cops were sure all over the place. Um, the, the I'm just watching live footage now that there's a they're having an altercation with uh, some actual Arabs at City College in New York. Oh, and one last thing. NYPD um, intelligence people spotted two people in uh, in the periphery, in the, in the crowd outside of the, uh, um, uh, the encampment in Columbia and identified them as, the, as two brothers of um, of a known ter terrorist who's on the terrorist watch list, and these brothers live in Bra Bay Ridge, in Brooklyn. Okay, now, don't you think that should have been something that was kept quiet, and uh, that maybe they should have been taken into custody and questioned? Uh, would have been the smart thing to do, but uh, some people. Um, like to flap their lips about what's going on, and that's good. I mean, I, I I'd have nothing to talk about if they did. But here, that's that's something that uh, really uh, should have been kept out, kept quiet. All right. Well, good night. Stay safe and God bless.